Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to show you how to play Sneaky Business by Martha Mir, piece C2 in the ABRSM 2023-2024 grade 1 syllabus. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Also, I now offer online piano lessons. If you're looking for one, there's going to be information in the description below. So this one is one of the coolest pieces in the book, but also quite tricky. Every time we have something jazzy, it's always quite challenging if you haven't played a lot of those rhythms before. We don't have any sharps or flats in the key signature because we're in the key of A minor. <laughs> And the time signature is 4-4, four, four, so we have four crotchets in every single bar. And the tempo is allegro, which means fast, 1-3-2, so it's actually quite a robust speed that we have to achieve. But obviously in the beginning, when you start learning it and practicing it, make sure that it's really, really slow. So if we look at the structure of this piece, the right hand kind of um, has a little bit of harmony and melody, and the left hand has this walking bass all the way through, which makes it very interesting. And in the middle part has some chords, and then the walking bass comes back. The hands start quite low in the, in the left side of the piano, and we move up a little bit in the middle section and then finish on the low notes as well. So you need to kind of ground yourself in this section of the piano. Let's have a look at the left hand first because that's what gives the main groove to the piece and that's what gives the support. So we have this descending scale, the A minor scale, one, two, three, four, A, G, F, E, which has been used in millions of songs by the way, this pattern. And instead of playing it connected, we're going to do it staccato, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So as you could see, it was mostly staccato apart from bar six, where we go staccato and then legato, and back to staccato. So a little bit of um, interesting articulation there. By the way, I'm only showing the first line of the sheet music here as it's still in copyright. Um, if you look in the book, I'm going to refer to the bar numbers. So that was the first section, and from bar 11 we go into the second section where the left hand is sustaining chords. So we start with D, F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and coming back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, D sharp, staccato legato, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, and an octave, finishing on that very low A. So it's crucial to keep the rhythm very steady in the left hand because it's like a groove. It's, it's keeping the support for the melody. And as you could see, the chord section is very simple in the middle part. It's just two chords switching back and forth. So that's about the left hand. And really keeping the hand in this um, descending A scale position is gonna really help and looking at the finger numbers. Right hand is very interesting. It starts in bar three on the low A, be below middle C and we see two ties. So actually you need to hold down all the notes. It's almost like an arpeggiated chord. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So starting on the A and then C and then E holding down the previous notes all the way to the end. And then we have this nice syncopation, number three on the F, one and two and three and four and one and two, and three, and four, and. So we have a quaver rest, and we come in on the second half of the beat. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, lift. One, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, jumping up to F, C, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So every time you see that quaver at the beginning of the bar, the quaver rest, make sure you go either one and, or you can say rest and two and three and four and rest and two and three and four and. Then the right hand comes down to the low C. Then the right hand moves to the middle C, again starting on the rest. Rest and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, rest, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, jumping up the octave to the C, rest, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, we have a drop slur here, starting legato, finishing staccato, one, two, three, four, and a G7 chord, and A, and then it's just back to the a again, the chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest, and two, and three, four, rest, and two, and three, four, rest, and two, and three, four, one, two and it finishes very bright and loud. And you have these staccato chords on the third and fourth beat. So let's see what happens when we put this together. Make sure to practice a lot hands separately. Left hand starts very gently and quietly. Holding the right hand. Left hand is still staccato. One and two and three and one and two. Hold the right hand, left hand staccato, one and two and three and one. So holding the right hand very smoothly while the left hand is doing the staccato descending scale is crucial. And then watch how the left hand is the rest in the right hand. One and two and three, four. And then in the second section, we start one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, jump. For the very end, we have this pedal mark there. So when you play the, the A and the chord, you need to press down the damper pedal and comes up with the staccato. So I hope this gave you some insight into what to watch out for and how to practice the hands separately. Articulation and evenness in speed and the groove is crucial to make this into a successful performance. If you have any more questions about this piece, leave it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.